Number 1. Dresden Frauenkirch. Dresden's spectacular Frauenkirch is one of the most remarkable reconstruction projects ever to have taken place in Germany, if not the world. Completed in 1743, the spectacular Baroque original was considered one of the most beautiful churches in Europe. After its destruction during Allied bombing in 1945, the ruins of the old building were catalogued and stored for use in its reconstruction. Number 2. Dresden Royal Palace and Museums. If you have time to see nothing else in Dresden, it should be this and the Frauenkirche. One of Europe's richest and probably its oldest public museum, although the Vatican disputes this, the Dresden State Art Collection, inside the Dresden Royal Palace, is also one of its most modern and forward-looking in terms of displaying and interpreting its treasures for visitors. Number 3. Zwinger and Old Masters Picture Gallery. The Zwinger, a magnificent early 18th-century palace in the center of the city beside the Elba, is one of the finest examples of Baroque architecture in Germany. It's worth walking around the outside just to appreciate its architecture. On its south side is the majestic 32 bayed Long Gallery. Number 4. Semper Opera and Theaterplatz. The west side of Dresden's Theaterplatz, one of Germany's finest public squares, is dominated by the magnificent Semper Oper, the city's opera house, built in the style of the Italian High Renaissance. To see the lavishly decorated interior, either attend a performance, which include concerts. Number 5. The Great Garden and Zoo. The lovely Great Garden, Grosser Garten, was laid out in the French Baroque style beginning in 1676 and has been open to the public since 1814. The Sommer Palais, built between 1678 and 1683, is one of the earliest Baroque palaces in Germany. Also in the park are the Dresden Zoo and the Dresden Botanical Garden. Number 6. Stroll along Brühl's Terrace. No trip to Dresden is complete without a stroll along Brühl's Terrace, or Brühl's Terrasse, also known as the Balcony of Europe. Approached from the Schlossplatz by a broad flight of steps, this area on the site of the old city ramparts was laid out in 1738 as a private garden, and opened to the public in 1814. Number 7. Pilnitz Palace and Gardens. In the 1720s, Augustus the Strong ordered a pair of Baroque summer palaces built beside the Elba, where he could entertain at costume parties and sporting contests. Decorated in the then popular chinoiserie style, they face each other across a garden. Pilnitz later became the royal family's summer residence. Number 8. Dresden Kulturpalast. The pride of GDR architecture when it opened in 1969 as a house of socialist culture during the Soviet era, the Dresden Kulturpalast was given new life in a complete redesign of its interior as a state-of-the-art home for the Dresden Philharmonic. After some controversy, its overtly Soviet exterior mural the red flag and the wall fresco Our Socialist Life were retained, a rare glimpse of GDR Dresden. Number 9. The Georgenter and the Procession of Princes. The Georgenter, or Georgenbach, was the original city exit to the Elba Bridge and the first of the city's many Renaissance buildings. On the west side is a doorway from the original building with its rich sculptural decoration, including an equestrian statue of Duke George. Also of interest is the Langer Gang. Number 10. The Japanese Palace and the Golden Horseman. In the Neustadter Market, across the river in Dresden Neustadt, the city's newer district, is the statue of Augustus the Strong in the pose of a Caesar, wearing Roman armor and seated on a horse. Made in 1736, it's commonly known as the Golden Horseman and is one of the city's most popular landmarks. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.